your live Super Doppler 4 HD weather forecast. Take a look at the radar. Most of the severe weather threat now has shifted off to our northeast and to our east, but we still have this last band that's moving through that certainly has the potential to maybe, it's a very low risk of some severe weather. Then we have the upper level low, which is spinning out here, which will probably spin in some rain showers later on tonight, and especially during the day tomorrow in North Carolina. So, so I talked about it earlier in the newscast. This is the last line. So if you're anywhere west of this line, you're on the all clear. If you're anywhere east of this line, yeah, you still remain under a tornado watch. It's a localized watch and it goes until 9 o'clock this evening. So we're, the weather service is going to continue to cancel once that line keeps moving eastbound. Then we're going to continue to, from west to east, cancel out county by county the watch box. So you folks in Oconee County, Stevens County, to the southwestern mountains of the central and southern mountains of North Carolina. You're in the all clear right now, and this is a tornado watch just because we have incredible wind shear out there. Not the greatest instability, uh, but as long as that's there, it's still at least a very low risk that we could produce a brief uh, weak tornado. Flash flood watch still continues until 10 o'clock this evening for the entire area, but it most likely is going to be so localized, and it's really going to be along this line where we're going to see the potential for some flash flooding. Otherwise, it's really not going to be widespread because notice this is really the only game in town right now. Pretty heavy thunderstorms moving through Danielsville, uh, Hartwell, all the way up through the Clemson earlier, now moving through easily, eventually into downtown Greenville and Traveler's Rest a little bit later on. Then it becomes just steady rain showers through Hendersonville, all of Buncombe County, uh, heavier downpour of rain in Marion. But Marion, you've had very heavy thunderstorms move through over the last several hours, and that's the reason the flash flood warning has been issued for you folks. And it does include you folks in Marion, in central, in south central part of McDowell County. Flash flood warning until midnight tonight. And also the extreme northwestern part, northeast of Lake Lure in Rutherford County. A live shot from our camera from Paris Mountain. Looking south, there's downtown Greenville. A low cloud base there. Uh, but it, right now it's just cloudy in downtown Greenville. 71 degrees, but we had those heavy showers uh, knocking on the front door just to our west. 74 degrees in Wilmington, 72 in Columbia, 75 right now in Atlanta. Going through this evening, warm front to our north, so we're between the warm front and the cold front. But notice at 7 o'clock, most of the severe weather now has shifted off to our east. Still a chance of that brief shower or thunderstorm developing, as I mentioned, right along that front. Upper level low spinning here, so it's going to spin in some rain showers tomorrow. And with freezing levels lower, maybe some of the higher levels of the mountains of North Carolina could even see some small hail, pea-sized hail, but nothing strong, nothing severe. Tonight, scattered showers, a slight chance of a strong thunderstorm still over the next hour or two, low 57, upstate 51 degrees in the mountains. Tomorrow, variable cloudiness with sun from time to time. Upper level low could spin in a brief shower. Tomorrow afternoon, high, very breezy, 74 degrees. Scattered showers in the mountains, a breezy conditions, high temperature 66. Then we finally dry out and see some sunshine on Friday. And Saturday, at least for the upstate, but a chance for scattered showers, thunder showers for the mountains, and then a summertime pattern for Sunday and also Memorial Day. Now back to you, Carol and Michael.